and of course uh, would also be back here next week Kelly, thank you so much for being here with us but just before we go we saw something somebody reached out to a lot of people it was a medical outreach and we'd like to talk about it Kelly. yeah so i did that you are this way he did that with, in conjunction uh, uh, with uh, power oil and they went all over first Dauphin. what did they do they were in this age of covid 19 they were given uh, free medical outreach honestly we'll, we'll give it to adedayo adesui he's been doing that for some time now and he still promises to keep doing it and then we say god will continue to bless him amen we have that package for you to show you exactly what you did but we'll be back here again tomorrow on the bumper breakfast don't forget my name is tommy sojo keep your messages coming we believe in nigeria and we believe you should too have a blessed day naturally there is a tendency to take some things for granted. Our health should never be one of such things. Unfortunately, the reality is that over the time, we have gradually neglected some of the vital things we should have taken very seriously. One of such things is checking our health status. As simple as it sounds, this is one factor that could have prevented a lot of deaths and even major ailments. But for reasons that border on lack of knowledge and sometimes poverty, we seem to have ignored it for so long. For this reason, Sir Ade Dayo Ade Soye, in conjunction with Power Oil, decided to touch the lives of residents of Amu Odofin local government by providing free medical tests. This could not have come at a better time, especially as Nigeria and the rest of the world is currently battling the spread of coronavirus and its negative effects. This exercise is in fulfillment of a promise earlier made during the first edition that was held in Festac. Sir Adedayo Adesoye promised to take it beyond Festac town to the neighboring towns. Today, that promise has been kept. I'm so grateful by the turnouts and I also want to urge others who are here to buy into this wonderful package to see it as an opportunity to check their health status. You know, knowing your numbers is key to a better health. And you know, health is well, like we all keep saying. There are lots of people in the hospital today. Uh, if they knew on time, like they say, a sitting time saves nine. I want us to save the nine for a better living. Uh, I want to commend our elderly ones, our elderly folks. Even the young ones are not left out too. Please come around. Let's check our health status because uh, it's key. Uh, I also want to use the opportunity to let people know that COVID-19 is real. It's real. And the better we know our numbers, the better we know how to tackle it whenever we realize we have symptoms. It's not a crime to have uh, the virus, but it's a crime for you to be ignorant of what to do, the necessary steps to take, because a life loss is a minus to the world, a minus to the Nigerian economy, a minus to our more Dofi districts who want our numbers to increase. And like they say, eat your food at your medicine, not your medicine as food. And these are part of the steps we are looking at in ensuring that we all do the needful to ensure that we all live a rightful old age. Uh, Nigeria is, is, is going through a, a trying time and we believe when we are cognizant of what and what to do, which one I know we are in control of our health, we are in control of our health. Like my where I work, they say your safety is in your hands. Our health is also in our hands. Let's ensure that we do the needful. We are leaving uh, Alaba Express for the other uh, places here in uh, Matu Estate. If we check our program, uh, we'll be look, we're going to, I want you all to see it, to the retail market, aka shopping center, and one of in Matu Estate. On one Wednesday, we're going in front of block 165, Jack on the Estate, and more of him. On Mama J Bar, on the 18th, on Thursday, we'll be going opposite Raji Asaki Estate, and more of him. Then on the 19th, Double Junction, Amor Duffy Mile 2. On Saturday, we are going to Sister Avenue, 13th Road, opposite Double Dollar Point, 
That's the first stack. You can see that we are trying to ensure that we carry people along. I want to wish you all the best. I believe the residents of our model will come out stronger when this pandemic is over. But while it's on, let's not be ignorant of the fact that the healthier we are, the better for us to combat this uh, virus. We applaud and appreciate Sir Ade Dayo Ade Soe and the management of Power Oil for this laudable act of social responsibility. <laughs> Well, I want to say it's a very big development and a welcome idea because if you don't know, if you don't check, you will not know. And thank God that we have somebody like Sir Adi Dayo who is bringing this to our community to enrich people with knowledge of what their health is talking about. I'll say a very big thank you to Sir Adi Dayo and Power Hoy for doing this for our community and Amuo Dofi in general. Well, it's very, very good because already some uh, we don't have time sometimes even to check all this country but so uh, we get this country near we in our area here in fact we are very grateful for that and uh, you know as someone they said that they tell me to rest give myself rest you understand so that is what uh, doctor said you understand so we are very grateful it's very good uh, i'm also breaking in more Oh, <laughs> They made a name by well, like law because sent over their time to Jacobo. Oh, try because about who wrote up before us. I'll make you talk a Every day they want to free on the two steps. Very young, all over my law, all over my law, all over my debe, the lady all over my chair. Like I promised the other day, when we started from first stack 512 to be precise, that we're going to touch base with Mao Tzu. We're going to touch base with Agbojo. We're going to touch base with Adosoba. We're going to touch base with the waterside, the Jigun, and, and the Bologun, especially. And you can see we have lived to our promises. In fact, people are calling us to come back again. But there are some communities we even omitted. Not, be, not, that, not because it was deliberate, but we just needed to, to space it. And we are looking forward to doing so many programs that will also benefit our people. Uh, the healthcare, the free healthcare has been wonderful. So many people who had ailments, who never took it so serious, are beginning to discover that even from the food they eat, they can resolve some of their health challenges. Exercise. Also, eating right. Even knowing your numbers also guide in for you to see consultants to help you because there are some ailments that are not uh, is, is not a is not a death sentence. We can manage them till we leave this planet Earth with prolonged life. And I want to thank everyone who has part who has taken part in this program. I mean, the active people who have been supporting this program, going to their neighbors to call their neighbors because it's like a gospel, gospel of truth, gospel of our health. So that if you see the light, it's always good for you to show other people the way. I'm so pleased that even the ballet of Adosoba, you know, took us with an open arm for us to come and, you know, educate their people on the benefit of this free healthcare program. Some have taken it and they are taking lessons. And like I said, for free consultancy, they can always reach me for further advice so that other experts that we have within our call, they can call. We can always call them to help them out. Sir Adedayo Adesoye, in his words, further promise to continue with similar programs that seek to improve the lives of people within the environment.